Hi, I'm Lucy Ellis, Senior Writer at Scrip, and I'm here at the Bio Europe Partnering Conference in Cologne, and I'm joined by Matthias Iverson, CEO of Inositec, based in Zurich. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, Inositec is a young biotech company founded last year. Can you explain a bit more about your technology and the disease areas you're focused on? Sure, yeah. So we're a Swiss biotech company uh, spinning out of ETH Zurich. And our core technology is a highly innovative set of small molecules based on inositol hexaphosphate, which is a natural compound. We've performed chemical modifications to it to render uh, the molecule more drug-like and therefore more therapeutically useful. Uh, what we're really focusing on now is developing those molecules as uh, inhibitors of calcification that occur in soft tissues. Brilliant. And do you know of any other companies using the similar inositol phosphate analogs? So with regard to inositol phosphate analog specifically, there's very few companies that are working on in that field. Uh, therefore, we believe that we're very highly differentiated from uh, other activities that are out there. Uh, inositol hexaphosphate, the starting point for our technology, is being clinically developed. So there is a precedent for the work that we're doing, but we're trying to build on that uh, with our technology. Brilliant, and you've got stuff in the preclinical setting. Could you talk a bit about what those are? Yeah, so as I mentioned, we're really focusing on calcification disorders right now, uh, in particular vascular calcifications. And we're just uh, at the preclinical uh, stage, so we've just obtained some in vitro proof of concept, and we're hoping to build on that and obtain uh, more in vivo proof of concept in the coming months. And do you have a timeline for further development of those looking ahead? Well, so what we're looking at is uh, doing a Series A financing uh, next year. And uh, to enable that, we uh, hope to obtain preclinical proof of concept uh, in the early part of next year. And what have you been looking for, particularly at Bio Europe? Well, so at Bio Europe, we've been trying to just get a feel for the level of interest in the field, be it uh, from the investor side or from the potential partner side. And it's been really great to talk to a lot of interesting people on both uh, sides there. Uh, and I think it'll set us up very well for, for next year and in particular our financing round. Then. Brilliant. And looking for next year then, but further ahead, what are you excited to do and what are your main goals? Well, we're really excited to keep working on our innovative compounds because we firmly believe that they have strong therapeutic potential. And uh, as a scientific founder, it's really nice to have uh, really been there right at the start and just see how far we can go with them. So I look forward to just completing that preclinical proof of concept and entering into the clinic subsequently. And could you just elaborate a bit more on where the scientific founding comes from for the company and mm -hmm. the technology? Certainly. So I founded the company last year together with Professor Jean-Christophe Leroux and Bastien Castagnier, uh, both from the Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences at ETH Zurich. Professor Castagnier has now moved on to professorship at uh, McGill University. Uh, so we're really an interdisciplinary team. One is a pharmacist, one is an organic chemist. I'm a biomedical engineer by training, and I think that uh, coming together of those different skills has uh, really created something quite unique. Uh. So a perfect storm. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, I hope all goes well for you in the future, and Thank thanks for joining much. us today. My pleasure. Um,